In this example, uh, we're given an exponential function named g. And um, all we want to do here is evaluate the function g for various inputs. So since g is an exponential function, its domain is going to be all real numbers. And so um, we can evaluate uh, uh, g for uh, any real number input. Um, the formula uh, for the function g uh, you see here is uh, 16 times 4 to the x power. So um, the initial value um, in this uh, exponential function um, is this coefficient uh, 16. And then the base of this exponential function is um, 4. All right, so let's evaluate g for uh, a few inputs here. So let's start with an easy one. Let's just evaluate g of 2. So um, that's just going to be 16 times uh, 4 uh, squared. Of course, we'll just substitute uh, 2 for x uh, in the uh, formula for the function g. And uh, 4 squared is 16. So we have uh, 16 uh, times uh, 16 here, uh, which is uh, 256. So that evaluation is very straightforward. Um, B here is a little bit trickier. We want to evaluate g to the 3 halves power. And so we're going to have to remember uh, what it means to raise a base to a fractional exponent power. But let's start just by substituting our input 3 halves for the input variable x in the formula for the function g. So we have 16 times 4 uh, to the 3 halves power. And now we have to remember how to simplify uh, 4 to the 3 halves power. So recall when you're simplifying a um, power with a fractional exponent, um, the denominator of that exponent uh, indicates uh, the um, index uh, of a radical. And then uh, the numerator of that fraction stays um, as a um, uh, exponent. So 4 to the 3 halves power is the same as 16 times the square root of 4. See, uh, that denominator of that fraction becomes the index of a radical. So we have the square root of the number 4. And then the numerator of that fraction just stays as an exponent. So we have the square root of 4 uh, cubed. Well, it's pretty easy to simplify the square root of 4. That, of course, is 2. And 2 cubed is 8. So we end up here with 16 times 8. And 16 times 8 is 128. So g to the 3 halves, uh, I'm sorry, g of 3 halves uh, is um, 128. All right, now let's try um, evaluating g of 0. So this is going to be 16 uh, times 4 to the 0th power. And remember, whenever you take a real number other than 0 and raise it to the 0th power, uh, the result is always going to be 1. So 4 to the 0th power is just 1. So we have here 16 times 1, uh, which is uh, 16. And finally now, uh, let's use a negative input. So let's try evaluating g to the minus 3. So this is going to be 16 uh, times 4 uh, to the minus 3 power. And now we've got to recall how to deal with uh, negative exponents. Uh, 4 to the minus 3 power, though recall we can simplify that as uh, 1 over uh, 4 cubed. So you just invert uh, the base and change the sign uh, of the exponent to uh, positive. Well, 4 cubed is 64, so this is 16 times uh, 1 over 64. And let's let scroll down a little bit here. So this is 16 over uh, 64. And I think uh, 16 goes into 64 four times, so you can reduce this fraction to uh, 1 fourth. So g uh, of minus 3 um, is 1 fourth.